Troy coming up next in the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, four losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 264 pounds, El Tigre. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler. Holding a professional record of six wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? So All right, ready to go for round one. He has won. Oh! oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now. First round is underway, no denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh! He's out! It's over. It's over. It's over. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and handily knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times he hoped for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done.
Showdown. For my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. It's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one time. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack, he just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time? All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, they have the same height, but big differences in reach. And now for the official introductions, the Ladies veteran the voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, El Diablo. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, Brock Lester! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, so here he is, ready for round one. This man is all the rage, given what he did his last time out. In Whoa! He might be out. Massive head kick. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left hook there. No! Oh. That one appeared to stun him. You gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. And attacking on bar. Posturing up now, and then he's out. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, how to intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop. Gotta defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. He's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. to the 
feet now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Wow. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big. He got him. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 43 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Rosna! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. He should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.
I want to see you kill her today. Let's go in there and crush this. Keep grinding. Keep pushing. Good kickboxing. Got my back and on any battery. Blowing all these ones look like we hit the lottery. My 